Hello. Thank you so much for dropping by this video. A very warm welcome to anyone who's new to this channel and a very warm welcome to any return viewers. Thanks for saying hi, Jason. So, here we are. We are alive. We're in a body. If you're listening to this, if you're watching YouTube, you're in a body. <laughs> body on planet Earth. Now, um, this, you might be like, well, why is this guy, what's, like, that's interesting information, but what's the, what's the purpose of some person on YouTube saying, hey, hi, you're in a body on the planet Earth? Well, I'm so glad you asked. The thing is, that from a spiritual point of view, those two facts are highly significant. And interestingly enough, we spend most of our days not, uh, I, up until I found this teaching, spent most of my days not reflecting on those two simple facts. First of all, in a body. You notice I don't, I said in a body. That means that one thing is inside another thing. So the, the, the body, but what is the thing that's inside the body? When I say you, I said, I said you are inside a body. I am inside a body. What does that mean? Well, my understanding is that what we are is a soul. As one, one wonderful spiritual quote was, you don't have a soul. You are a soul, that we are not this beautiful, amazing, wonderful body, but we are that which in, inhabits this body. So this is so important to understand uh, what we are. Most people think that they are this thing, this wonderful, glorious, amazing creation. But numerous spiritual teachers, and very specifically teachings and teachers, very specifically the teaching of Bruno Gruning, which his channel is focused around, made it very, very clear that we aren't a body. We've been given a body by God to have this wonderful, wonderful, sometimes challenging, and yet this amazing, amazing experience called physical life. This comes down to a fundamental worldview. Most people think that their life began with their physical birth and ends with their physical death. Maybe if they have a spiritual belief or religious belief, oh, maybe after I die, then I'll enter heaven or, uh, you know, there's different, different beliefs. But what I want to put forth for your consideration is the idea is that you existed long before your body was alive and you exist, will exist long after this body died. And actually, you're on a quite a vast, vast journey. And being in this wonderful body is just part of that journey. <laughs> Michael Power Flowers, hello. I <laughs> love the name. Now, I'm not trying to put down the body or say that this particular um, experience that we're all having here on this earth in a body is not significant, not important. No, 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 to the contrary. But what I am asking us is to hold it in a specific perspective, that this is just part of our journey, a very precious, a very important part. So the other seemingly unimportant fact I threw out at the beginning was that we're here on planet Earth. Why would I remind us of that? We're all here in, Mar in, you know, in the year 2020, we're all very aware that we live on this planet. Um, <laughs> maybe more so than most people because of the current situation. I think a lot of people are 
realizing, oh my gosh, we're all together here on this planet. But there's another idea I want to throw into the mix. <laughs> and that is that this earth is not just precious because of how beautiful she is, that this earth isn't just precious because of um, um, the fact that it's, it's an actually a kind of living being, but it's also a very special spiritual place in that evil is given uh, free reign here. Evil is allowed to really roam and really, I don't want to say have fun, but really, really operate very freely here. Now, this is a metaphysical and a theological topic. I can't prove it to you. But what I can say is the source of this information was this man named Bruno Gruning, who he didn't talk about theological or um metaphysical topics very often. Most of the, what he talked about were things that you could experience for yourself. But the reason why I throw this out uh, and the reason I believe why he shared, this is one of the rare times where he shared about a metaphysical or spiritual theme is because to understand our life here on this earth. He said it was a very precious opportunity that in fact, trillions of souls were lined up waiting for the opportunity to have a body here on this earth where evil is given free reign. Can you imagine? Most people are ready to get out of this body and off of this planet. And yet Bruno Gruning said that souls are lined up waiting for the opportunity to be here. How is such a, how could such a thing be true? Well, the way he explained it is like this, that this earth is actually a school and life here on this earth is a precious spiritual opportunity to actually free ourselves from evil. In essence, to face the temptation of evil and overcome it. Is that an easy undertaking? Hasn't been easy for me. I haven't met so many people who it's been easy for. No, it's not an easy school. But Bruno Gruning was adamant that it was a precious, precious opportunity and called us to make the best use of our time here. Our time here is limited. And then there's a long line to get back. As he said, trillions of souls. But part of what he said is that we have the opportunity to free ourselves from so much evil and to let go of so much negativity from our past that it truly is a very, a truly an act of grace. One of the other interesting things he said was that one of the reasons why it's such an act of grace is because of the simple action of sleep. While we sleep, we are literally free from all burdens. We don't have to deal with them. We get a break from them. Bruno Grinning said that in the spirit world, this is not the case, that we didn't, that we don't get a break, that once we take on some evil or take on a burden, we're with it's with us and we can feel it until um until we've completely freed ourselves from it. The other thing he said was that a body actually tones down the experience of evil a little bit. So if we take on evil, we don't feel it quite as strongly here in a body. Yet he also said the body gives us clear, immediate, that while it's not as, as intense, we also get immediate feedback from the body about what's good and what's evil. A great way to find this out is to very carefully watch your thoughts and watch your body. Your body will tell you which thoughts are good and which thoughts are not good. That's how a lie detector test works. The reason the lie detector te test works 
is because it's stressful to lie. That which is not true is stressful. And of course, that which is not true is not good. So, so to summarize, the, again, this is all th pretty theoretical information. However, it can give us a worldview of, of hope. It, it's, it's inspired me, and I hope it can inspire others to really take this time on earth as precious and to really make good use of it. So to summarize, we are an eternal soul on a vast journey. And part of this journey is a life here on earth in this body where we aren't the body. We've been given the body. We're inhabiting the body. Our time here on earth is limited. And while it's very challenging here, it's also a very precious opportunity to face and overcome evil and negativity. Part of the grace is that, is that we have a body and that this body tones down some of the discomfort of evil and simultaneously gives us very clear signals about what is good and what is evil. And because of all these different factors, Bruno Grinning spoke of life here on earth as a school and also spoke of our physical life as a precious uh, physical life here on earth as a precious, precious gift. So, how to free ourselves from evil? Well, according to Bruno Grinning, we can't on our own. We need God's help. And most people need the help of what Bruno Grinning spoke of as a helper what in Western theology might be called a savior or in Eastern theology might be called a guru. We need the help of a being who has completely freed themselves from evil. And we most certainly need a higher power to do so. It's one of the fundamental things that Bruno Grinney taught, this need for a higher power, and then how to take in this divine energy. It's very simple to do. Please sit with your legs uncrossed feet flat on the floor, hands on your legs, palms facing upwards, back in a relaxed upright position, if possible, not leaning against your chair. Please close your eyes and now hand over to your spiritual helper. And if you don't have one, I invite you to call on Bruno Grinning and call on your helper and, and give away all of your burdens, all physical illnesses, all worries, Hand it over to them and then ask for help to receive the divine energy, the healing energy, the energy of God and observe your body with the will and the intention to take this energy in. I'm gonna spend a little time in silence doing this. If you like, you can play a little music in the background if that helps you relax and just feel and have the intention to receive. Noticing what you feel, giving away any negative thinking.
again, watching your, observing your body with the intention to take in this energy. And as you become aware of a particular thought, notice how it feels. If it feels good, keep it. If it doesn't feel good, hand it over to your helper or to God and ask for a good thought.
I'm going to read a prayer. This is a, uh, it's based on a Catholic prayer called Radiating Christ. I've rewritten it a little bit. Dear Jesus, dear Christ, help me to spread God's fragrance everywhere I go. Please flood my soul with God's spirit and life. Please help me to open so that God can penetrate and possess my whole being more and more, so utterly that my life is only a radiance of God. Shine through me and be so in me that every soul I come into, every one I come into contact with may feel God's presence through my soul. Let them look up and see no longer me, but only a divine child of God. Stay with me and then I shall begin to shine as you shine, to be a light to others. The light, O Christ, will be all from God. None of it will be mine. It will be God shining on others through me with your help. Let me thus praise God in the way God loves best by shining on those around me. Let me preach without preaching, not by words, but by example, by the catching force of what I do. Please make my life a prayer of thanksgiving. Please help me to radiate God so that I may offer a helping hand to lead others out of the drowning, suffocating darkness the way you did so for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm going to close this off with one more prayer, and then maybe we'll tune in a little bit more. Our dear friends, Bruno, Jesus, our maker, Father, Mother, God, please, the highest blessing for everyone who attended today and everyone who watches, watches this particular video, Please, for this channel, for everyone who visits it, may they feel the presence of God, experience help and healing. Please, for every person, every individual and every organization seeking to share the work of Bruno Grinney, please, blessing, let the power of God flow through them, guide them and flow through them. Please, for everyone striving for the good and striving to help others please bless them on their journey let this power of god flow over them and please grace and mercy for all of us especially those who have lost hope who aren't even seeking the good anymore Please, for this beautiful earth, for Mother Earth and every living thing on it, and for ourselves, please, humility, recognition of our need of the divine, the need, need of divine help, faith, deeper and deeper faith, surrender, turning our life over to God and trusting, relying on God. Please help us to become aware of the things that block us from God, the habits, and be willing to let them go, to be honest with ourselves and when appropriate with others, and then to turn to God or one of God's pure helpers and ask that these blockages be removed. Please help us to make right wrongs we've done from the past if we can't Find the person, help us to pray for them, and wish them well. As we go through the day, please help us to be mindful of our thoughts, firmly saying no to any thoughts that aren't from God. And to seek connection with the divine all throughout the day and to seek guidance all throughout the day. We can even ask with each decision, what would you have me do? What's highest and best? And 
And then help us to take all these principles and go out and shine on this world that so needs, so needs God, and so needs light and peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks all for joining in. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who said hello. And I wish everyone here a beautiful, beautiful day full, full of the divine connection. Take care. Much love.